road trip with G. Garvin. He's the man that taught us all to keep it simple in the kitchen and how to make good food every day at home. Thanks to Coke and Best Buy, it gives me great pleasure to bring you Chef G. Garvin. Give it up, Chef from New Jersey. Let's go. We got some love. sink under the counter, washing my hands, make sure everything is good. All right, so you guys ready for a good show? Yeah. Learn how to make a couple of really great recipes. Here's one of the things that make this so much fun. This is the one of the only cooking demonstrations where I don't actually cook. So you get to learn something, like if you're busy, if you know, you don't have a whole lot of time. These recipes are actually great for that. Uh, obviously, we can't have open flame here in the Best Buy, so that's kind of why we did that. Is that me? Is that a technical difficulty? I'm good? All right. So, you guys want to hear about the recipes? Yeah. First course, I have a really, really, really great shrimp. This is a mock of a ceviche. How many of you guys know what ceviche is? Ceviche is raw fish that's actually cooked in its own plus citrus juices, uh, usually done with cilantro, um, shallots, maybe a little garlic, lemon juice, lime juice, uh, fresh tomato, um, and a little bit of hot sauce. So what I've done is I'm doing a shrimp style ceviche. For those of you who may not be ready for ceviche, <laughs> I'm gonna slowly bring the tea into the ceviche with a little bit of cooked shrimp. And then second course, got it? We good? <laughs> oh, thank you. That's the business right there. That's the business right there. 
Uh, and then second, I have a really, really great salad. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the burrata cheese, which is a really, really unique and interesting soft textured cheese, something in between brie and maybe a goat, uh, with some really great fresh tomatoes, some basil, uh, a little sea salt, a little olive oil. Super simple, but the integrity of the dish is what's outstanding. And third, we have a really interesting um, pulled chicken that we do with brown rice, which is really healthy for you. Um, take the entire chicken and we rotisserie it, and then we remove the skin and pull the uh, chicken almost sort of like a, a pulled pork. Um, and we do it over brown rice with some salt, some pepper, some, some, pepper, some herbs, and we make it really, really nice. Um, and as I said, we're not going to cook that, so I'm going to show you how I put it all together. And of course, you guys all have recipe cards so you can see what I'm doing. All right? So y'all ready for the first one? Yeah. Okay. We're going uh, to try not to fall off the stage. All right. So one of the things, how many guys know who I am? How many of you don't? If you really do, how many of you don't? Everybody else. Okay. <laughs> so my name is G. Garvin. And uh, first, thank you for being here. Uh, I've had a cooking show called Turn Up the Heat, which is on uh, Cable Network called TV One. I have a new show uh, on the cooking channel called Georgia Road Trip, or Road Trip, where we go all over the country and we go to great restaurants, interesting or unique places, uh, sort of like diners, dives, and drive-ins, minus the dive. <laughs> so diners, cool spots, <laughs> and drive something like that. Um, all right, so with this first dish, one of the first things I want to talk to you about is the presentation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take a very simple recipe and kick it up a notch so that when you do your presentation at home, your guests are just a little bit wow, wow, or like uh, Simon says, the wow factor, simply by the presentation. Okay, so... What I've done is bay shrimp. Okay, you guys know what bay shrimp are? Bay shrimp are the really small shrimp. They're kind of sweet. You can get those. You can get them cooked or you can get them uncooked. And simply blanch them yourself. A little hot water, a little bit of salt. Quickly blanch them. Dice them really small. Okay? So once you dice them, try and keep in mind everything that you want to do. Think about the presentation so that it's not just you know, chunks of shrimp diced up. Always think of the presentation. Take some jalapenos. Remove the seed, unless you want to uh, run people away, because it's gonna be very hot. All right? Some diced shallots. Now keep in mind, everything that we've diced, it's very, very fine and uniform. And don't be afraid if your knife skills aren't such that you can make it small and very fine, but just be consistent with whatever the size you decide to do. Fresh tomato, very important. And you can use Roma tomato or you can use vine wrapping tomato. Uh, typically take out the in the um, the meat of the, the uh, tomato uh, and just use the, I guess you would call it the rind or the outside and dice it up so that it gives you really good flavor. Okay, so if you gotta use salt, Make sure it's kosher salt. That's what I use. Got a little pepper. Okay, guys? I got some cilantro. Now, what I'm gonna do is, one of the things about cilantro is, a lot of times people like to dice it up. Cilantro is one of those herbs, I like to just pull the leaves. You know why? Because you don't ruin the herb. It's sort of like dicing mint. I don't know why one would do that, because the mint is meant to be tasted um, and when you dice it up, I think you lose the integrity of it. Okay, so I'm gonna pull some cilantro, um, you know, the whole leaves, and then I'm gonna show you how to mix this up. 